Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome everybody back to another video. And we're going to start doing, since it's October, um, I figured we'd get some horror-related videos going. And I'm going to be kicking off my review of the Friday the 13th films. Um, and before we do the, before, not we, it, me um before i actually i don't know why i say that all the time um i guess my stuff's audience participation i don't know um before i get into the actual um reviews of the movies i just wanted to do this little kickoff video you know like i do with some of the bigger franchises just talking about kind of a general overview of the movies and you know kind of me how I came to watch these movies and then what have you I mean I've done this before with um you know I did it for the Halloween series I did it for some of the bigger action heroes um you know I like doing these kind of kickoff videos for the franchise um I know I didn't do any videos over the weekend um got some some bad news over the weekend my uh one of my uncles uh had passed away so I just took the weekend off to kind of reflect and, and do, you know, do me a little bit. So, I you know, just wanted to give people a heads up on that. Um, but here I am. It's Monday. You know, I figured, you know, today I'm still, still really not back to normal yet. But I figured, you know what, got to start getting out of the hole somehow. So I figured might as well get these Friday the 13th videos started. So why not, right? But Friday the 13th is another horror franchise that I absolutely love. I don't love it as much as Halloween, um, but they're like right there. They're like barely neck and neck. Um, again, I like the Halloween franchise more because that was really the first one that I got into. Um, you know, I enjoy the simplicity of the Michael Myers character. Again, I know they explained him and, and all that, but they had to give him. I guess some kind of a backstory since they did that with Jason and Freddy. Uh, Michael Myers was next to the pipeline. Um, you know, and again, you know, another big reason why I enjoy the Halloweens more is because the small town that I live in kind of has, you know, a Michael Myers type vibe around Halloween because we don't celebrate Halloween on Halloween. Um, so there you go. But. I still love the Friday the 13th franchise. Um, I would say when I was younger, um, in my middle school years, I was more of a Friday the 13th fan than Halloween because that's when I started to get more into Friday the 13th. Um, by the time I got into middle school, I had seen the majority of the Halloween films. I think the only one at that point that I had not seen... Actually, no. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I think the only one I hadn't seen until I think a little bit later on was Halloween 3, but I avoided Halloween 3 for years. Um, but yeah, but the Friday the 13th films, again, you know, I grew up, particularly again in my middle school years, growing up watching these movies, renting them from the video store, learning about them through the internet and the, you know, the IMDb, back when it was the IMDb. Now it's become something completely different. Um, and yeah, just, you know, and rem remembering when particularly Freddy vs. Jason came out, you know, that was a pretty big deal that summer. Um, you know, I do remember summer of 2003, that was the only movie I cared about seeing was Freddy vs. Jason. And I didn't see it in theaters, I guess, because I was too young, so to speak, even though by 2003... I probably saw the majority, I'd say I saw the majority of the Friday the 13th. Um, again, the only ones that I saw a little bit later on was 7 and 8. Um, yeah, because, um, well, we'll get into that in a minute here. But yeah, by that point, by the time Freddy vs. Jason had come out, I had already seen the majority of the Friday the 13th movies. Um, but again, you know, the character particularly of Jason, you know, the hockey mask. Everybody remembers that, even if people aren't hardcore fans like I am, um, people still remember and people know 
what Friday the 13th is. It's Jason. It's the hockey mask. It's ch -ch 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 -ah -ah -ah, even though it's not what it actually is um, to most people, but I'm not most people. Excuse me. Um, but people know Friday the 13th is very iconic. You know, these were, uh, particularly the first eight, these were popular movies back in the 80s. These were the date movies. These were the movies that guys would take girls out to. And Halloween, and Nightmare, not, I'm not saying Friday the 13th is the only one. Um, that's just what we're talking about right now. Um, you know, these were the movies that guys would take girls to, and they would get all comfy and cozy because scary shit would be happening on screen. Um, I do wish I could have been a part of that era. Um, now, not so much because a lot of the horror films that come out now are, are pretty much dog shit. So there's really no point for me to, uh, to take a date to those, you know, um, if girls start liking me, maybe, but we'll see, um, you know, but these were very popular films back in the day. And I know that they say, oh, as time went on, they weren't making money. They still made money because the budgets were not that big for these kind of movies. So they still made money. Um, but again, you know, through home video, through cable TV, you know, these movies, you know, almost 40 years later, because next year will be the 40th anniversary of the original movie. Um, you know, near damn near 40 years later. Friday the 13th is still going strong. I mean, in, in more recent years, you know, in the last 10 years, you had the remake, which I really enjoyed. You've had comic books and toys. Um, you had the video game for PlayStation 4 and Xbox, which is a great game, by the way. It's a shame that this lawsuit happened because now we're not going to get any new comp, new more or more content, you know, new content from the game because of the stupid lawsuit that's still going on, you know, which is ridiculous at this point, but oh well, but again, growing up, you know, I discovered these movies again through cable TV, you know, um, back in the day, TNN, and I think Spike TV, when Spike TV first started, they would run, you know, Friday the 13th marathons on Friday the 13th, I think they showed like two through eight. They never showed the first one for some reason. They only showed the sequels. But I used to watch these movies on there, you know, particularly five and six. Those are my, you know, my top two favorites. Six, those being number one and then five. Um, you know, I would always watch these movies when they would come on. Um, HBO and Cinemax. Again, when I was in middle school, they would run the Friday the 13th movies all the time. I mean, they would come on at like five in the morning, but I would get up you know, early before school, and then usually I would fall back asleep on the couch and miss the whole movie, but oh well. Um, you know, and then renting them from the video store, from Blockbuster, and then, you know, purchasing them or getting them as gifts, you know, on DVD, and then VHS, and Laserdisc, and Blu-ray. Um, you know, looking for Friday the 13th comic books. I don't think I have any, but I'm always looking for them. Um, one year I dressed up as Jason for Halloween. That was my costume when I was, I think in the, in the sixth or sixth or seventh grade, I think it was sixth grade. I was Jason for Halloween, you know? Um, again, when I first got a computer back in like 2001, you know, when my family first got a computer, I was, you know, ever from the, from the get go, as soon as I was able to hook it up and get on the internet, I was doing my research about these movies and finding out, you know, um, what scenes got cut out, what violence got cut out, you know, hearing about these legendary, you know, bootleg work print versions that are out there that people have or didn't have or said they had, you know, it was all very exciting, um, you know, and I'm glad that I'm, you know, I'm still young, I'm still a young guy, but I'm glad that I grew up or became, you know, started to get a little bit older when the internet really blew up in the early 2000s, um, you know, the late 90s into the early 2000s, because um, I was able to to kind of learn about these movies and stuff on my own and find out, you know, which version to get on DVD, you know, I'll buy this one because it's got extra violence that they've added back in and, and that kind of thing. Um, you know, I would always write 
stories about Jason. I would write my own Friday the 13th stories. Um, and then I would throw like Tommy Jarvis in there. Cause again, five and six are my favorites. So I really like that character even to this day. Um, you know, I would always write again, my own Friday the 13th stories or have Jason and Michael Myers face off against each other and Freddy Krueger and, and, and all that stuff. Um, I remember I was in school, I was in sixth grade and that was the peaks for some reason in the sixth grade. That's all I cared about was nothing but Friday the 13th. And I was watching them on TV. I was renting them from Blockbuster. Um, you know, that was peak Friday the 13th time for some reason. And I remember doing a report in school about Friday the 13th. And I got a lot of weird looks from people, but it's okay. Because, you know, I turned out to be pretty damn normal. I just love these movies. They're great movies. They're entertaining. Even after... Again, damn near 40 years, these movies are still fun. They're still entertaining. Now I'm more into how they do the makeup, how they do the effects, you know, that kind, that kind of stuff. But, you know, they're still very enjoyable films. They are classics. I have no problem saying that, the first eight anyway. Um, but, you know, these movies will live on. You know, after all of us are gone, after all of us have, have moved on to the other world, the other side of things, the Friday the 13th movies are still going to be there. Um, and it's a pretty damn awesome thing, you know. Again, uh, also the TV series. I know I forgot to mention the TV series. I really like the Friday the 13th TV series. I know we just talked about it in, the I think, the last live stream or the one before that. One of the more recent live streams, we, we discussed the Friday the 13th series quite a bit. Um, I still really like it. I definitely, um, I do have them at home. They're out. They're not packed away in storage. But when I go back home uh, next month here, I definitely want to get that and Freddy's Nightmares out and watch those again. It's been too damn long since I've watched them. Um, but, I mean, hell, there you go. I mean, Friday the 13th was that popular to get a three-season TV series. It's not like it lasted 13 episodes and then it went off and that was it. No one gave a shit. It was on for three seasons, and it was highly rated. It was the number two syndicated series next to none other than Star Trek The Next Generation. So that tells you something right there. Um, not bad for a TV series that had nothing to do with Jason Voorhees. It's pretty awesome. Um, and then, you know, some of the, the later ones when New Line took over, I really don't care about those except Freddy vs. Jason. Um which even now, even 16 years later, which is extremely hard to to say that, um, it's hard to believe that Freddy vs. Jason is 16 years old. Because I do remember when it came out, that was the movie. And when we get to the, to the review, um, I will talk ad nauseum about Freddy vs. Jason. Because I just, even now, like I still, it's definitely flawed. It's nowhere near perfect, but I still really like it. It's still a very fun movie to me. Um, you know, again, 16 years later, it's, it's still a favorite of mine. Um, it, it's a good one, but yeah, I mean, again, you know, through, you know, not only the, the feature films, but comic books, uh, novels, you know, two video games, the Nintendo, the original Nintendo game, which is impossible as fuck to beat. Um, and then you have the newer game, which is, you know, just fun as hell, just an extremely fun video game. Um, I wish that they would do, you know, going back to Michael Myers, I wish they would do a Halloween one of that. It would be perfect. Uh, Halloween could really work as a video game, you know. Um, but, you know, all this stuff, you know, look how many action figures, look how many Jason Voorhees action figures are out there. I have several. Um, you know, Friday the 13th has lasted. 40 years of pop culture phenomenon and it, it it's gonna continue like it's not going to go away um you know there is a coffee table book about the history of the movies which is a fantastic book by the way there's a documentary there's several actually excuse me there's several documentaries about friday the 13th um again everyone remembers the hockey mask everyone remembers ch -ch -ch -ah -ah. You know, which is not, again, what they actually say, but I think most people identify with, ch -ch -ch. I know I contradicted myself, but um, sorry. What I meant to say was I think most people 
think of that and not which you know oh well but yeah so there you go i mean 40 you know damn near 40 years later people are still talking about these movies they're still watching them. i mean hell last month uh you know september was friday the 13th and amc ran a marathon like they they do i think i'm looking at it i'm pulling it up now I think in December, yeah, December, we have another Friday the 13th coming up. So I'm definitely going to take advantage of that and enjoy myself that day. Um, but it doesn't, and then March 2020, we have one. I'm just kind of looking here. Uh, next November, we have one. So there you go. Um, but when friday the 13th falls in the summer or the fall see what i did there it just it's more magical because again the first couple of movies are about summer camp so there you go um which is why i wanted to review them over the summer but it's okay we just pushed it back a little bit um and then of course in the fall september october the weather's changing halloween's right around the corner that's also when it's cool that's why it was cool when in september it hit because halloween's coming up so there you go but yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, at the end of all this, I'm a huge fan of the Friday the 13th franchise, and I'm looking forward to going back. I know, I mean, I've seen them a million times, so I can kind of do them by heart, but I'm really looking forward to going back and talking about these movies again. I know I reviewed them many, many moons ago when I first started on YouTube, but I'm not satisfied with those reviews, hence why I want to do these again. I know I can do better, particularly, again, the first eight movies. You know, the ones I like, and then, of course, the remake, you know, and Freddy vs. Jason, but, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's it. Again, um, you know, a lifelong fan, and my love for these movies and, and this franchise is honestly just going to get deeper and better. So, I really can't complain. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this little kickoff to the Friday the 13th stuff. And stay tuned, because next I'm going to be reviewing the original 1980 classic friday the 13th aka halloween with blood and guts so until then once again as always thank you guys for watching take care i'll talk to you guys later see you